I gotta eat. Whoo! Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life, live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe and put on your seatbelt because it's one hell of a ride. What's up y'all, it's Tasha and I'm back with another solo. Um, before I get into the video, I'm gonna ask you guys to please thumbs it up if you like the video, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm gonna do one thing, I'm just gonna make sure the mic is on. All right, you guys, so today, oh, I gotta do let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. All right, you guys, I'm back and I'm gonna let you know what we have. We as in me, before I start eating. I have corn, potatoes, Sausage and snow crab, that's it. And my sauce that I make that has, oh, at least 80% less butter than it did before. And it tastes just as good, so yeah, try that. Oh, let me pour this drink for those of you who like this. I love it, personally. I love when people pour carbonated drinks, so. I wanna do an ASMR like this so bad. This is um, zero calories and zero sugar, um, zero carbs drink. Mm. Oh, it's kind of good and gross, but I've been missing sausage. And y'all stop, okay? Don't even go there, because as like I said, I miss, I miss, I've been missing edible sausages, Stephanie. I'm probably gonna put something crazy in the dang. Y'all already know. So, this is the sausage. Oh, I don't have shrimp, huh? Hold on. I gotta put some seafood on it. So, I need to get into one of these crab legs. Mm. I think today is gonna be a little messy, you guys, because because my hands are already filthy. So. So they're gonna be a little messy. Forgive me if you don't like mess. <clears throat> oh no, you can just click off if you don't like mess. I don't really like messy, to be honest, but it is what it is. I gotta eat. Whoo, look at this, look at this. This a beast, okay? An entire beast. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm mm mm. Told you I was gonna be messy. Mm. So bomb though. Mm mm mm. Lord, I don't want to eat all these potatoes, but my body wants to. I mean, my mind. Mm. I was reading about, um, hold up. Mm. Corn. Supposedly it suppresses your appetite, which I didn't know. So, I'm not gonna eat too much of it. Whew. Not for the boil, but I think it's a good thing for me to snack on at night. Cause I think that's when I really wanna snack on something is at night. And I don't want to. Mm. I'm not gonna get into it yet, but Today's story time is gonna be about my um 
my my birth experience not my pregnancy experience but you know being in the hospital and a little bit of backstory about elijah i mean my pregnant my early pregnancy mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's bomb y'all mm. come on y'all stop playing with me i feel like they ain't putting no meat in these crab legs i mean not they because they don't put them in them This is spicy, y'all. And good. These crab legs playing with me. Come on. Let me make another potato. Finish off my potato. Let's go. I got serrano peppers in here, y'all. It's hot. And I love it. Somebody said this annoys them. I ain't even gonna say that. Forget it. I even put um, half the amount of seasonings in it and I'm not saying this to be no health conscious oh you gotta do that I don't care what you guys do I do not care but for me um, you know like Stephanie for instance she never put a whole lot of seasoning in hers like that but I do so <laughs> that's why I'm trying to change my little thing cause I'm the one with high blood pressure, okay? And by the way, it's great. Still, even after eating this crap, my blood pressure is fine. Because I don't, you know, I don't eat. I guess because I don't really know why. It just is, so. It is what it is. My blood pressure is not caused by um, salt intake. It was a genetic thing, so I guess that's why Salt does new thing. Like when I was in the hospital, I had heart surgery. They didn't have me on a low sodium diet, and I was like, I wonder why. But they did. They had me on um low fat. I don't know how much fat in this crab, but oh well. Mmm. Here's another piece of potato. I'm gonna do just as much sausage. Throw that little crab. This is all going in my mouth. FYI. This is nice and spicy. I love it like that. Whew. Yes, yeah, get on there. Okay. Yep. I'm about to get y'all this. If you don't want it, close your mouth. There you go. This is about to be a mess, y'all. I hope I can close my mouth with this. I think I'm gonna buy half. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. So good. I'm gonna start talking early because, um, because I want to, no other reason. So anyway, you guys, when I got pregnant, and yeah, it was a planned pregnancy. You know what, let me start with this. When I was 17 years old, I was in Germany living with my brother. I started getting really bad headaches. Um, headaches to the point where, I mean, I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. They were really bad. Um, I didn't do anything about it. I didn't go to the hospital. I remember my sister-in-law asked me, oh, do you want to go to the hospital? And I'll just say no. I just lay in the bed, try to take some pills. Didn't work. But I never asked to go to the hospital. I just tried to deal with it. Um, one day, my leg ended up, or my knee ended up swelling up a little bit. And I told my sister-in-law, I don't know, I think something wrong with me. I can't remember what it was, but basically, I made an excuse to come back to the United States because I just, I more so just miss my mom or whatever. But when I came back, 
I didn't end up living with my mom. I ended up living with grandma, but she noticed. Um, one day my grandma was like, what's wrong with your face? And like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she's like, your eyes are black. And I'm like, mm. no, it is what it is. I don't know. Um, anyway, so my grandmother basically demanded that I go to the hospital. And I was like, all right, whatever. It is what it is. My grandmother took me to the hospital. And mm, she took me to a, um, the hospital and they found out that they did an EKG on me because when they took my blood pressure, they were just doing regular vitals, right? When they took my blood pressure. At 17 years old, you guys, and 105 pounds, they found that my blood pressure was 180 over 100. And the doctor was like, whoa, something is wrong. Um, so they took me, they referred me to a doctor. I went to that doctor um, the very next day. And that doctor did some tests on me and told me that I needed to have heart surgery immediately. He told me that I had something called coarctation of the aorta that it had been there since birth. And I do remember as a child having chest pains and telling my mom and she would take me to the emergency room all the time, but they never said that anything was wrong. They never found anything. They probably just ignored it. Um, and this was over and over and over again. I guess after taking your child to the emergency room so many times, they're probably like, oh, they tripping. You know, my mom was deaf. I feel like they just didn't care. Um, mm -mm -mm. So anyway, long story short, because I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about something else. Long story short. Hey, tell me I need a heart surgery. I had heart surgery. It's about two days later. Um, stayed in the hospital for a couple weeks and was released. After that, the doctor told me that I could never live a normal life and um, that I could not have children, that I should not have children. Um, for me, at the time, I didn't care. But when I got a little bit older, a few years later, I was like, well, I want kids. And I guess I felt like if I have to um, not make it just to have a kid, I, mean, I don't even think I was thinking that, to be honest. So. I went ahead, planned my child, got pregnant, and then during the pregnancy, of course, they considered it a high-risk pregnancy. So I was going to the doctor every, um, like twice a month, two or three times a month. Mm. I had to have a fetal monitor on once a week. It was just a lot. It was a lot that I had to do, but I wanted this baby. So anyway, around my seventh month, I went to the restroom one day and I, you know, used it. But I just kept going. Um, I just kept going, kept going, kept going. And I'm like, wow, my bladder is really full, but I hadn't really drank anything. So at that point I was like, I must be um, losing my water. And I was like, uh-oh. So I tell the person I was with, take me to the hospital. She takes me to the hospital, emergency room. You know, I lived in Inglewood, and I won't say it was one of the best hospitals, because it wasn't. I won't say that that's the only reason why they just brushed it off, but that it is. Told me I was fine. 
So I was like, all right, I went to my doctor not soon after. And she told me that my water was low. And I told her what happened and she was like, oh, okay. Basically, not a week or two after that, they decided um, that they were gonna take the baby early because the water and because of my blood pressure, they were just like, let's just take the baby um, um, early to avoid any issues. I'm like, all right, cool. They induced my labor, which was terribly painful. But after several hours, the baby came. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The woman I was with at the time, um, she also had a kid that was disabled, so she did have to um, tend to him, and she wasn't at the hospital with me. Um, nobody was there. My sister did show up the second Elijah was born. So I think she saw him as he was coming out, or right after he came out. And when they took him away, well, told me to kiss him and they took him away. When they took my doctor happened to not be there, you guys. The baby was delivered by a nurse because my doctor was late. So the doctor never saw him or didn't see him initially. The RN um, and a bunch of other nurses were in there delivering him. Um, my doctor showed up and told me that my baby was one pound. Now, I'm off all kind of drugs and everything, so I'm not paying attention to the fact that I already saw the baby and he didn't look like he was one pound, but you know, I didn't really know. So, she told me he's one pound. And I instantly started crying because I'm like, one pound, okay, that's small. When, <clears throat> when I was once a doctor, it told me he was underweight, but not that much underweight. So instantly my sister was like, the baby is not one pound, Sasha. He, so my sister is a nurse, so she calculated, I guess, the kilograms, and she was like, he's three pounds. So, Elijah ended up being three pounds and eight ounces. And, mm, Elijah had to stay in the NICU for two months. I was very sad, but I was happy that my son was healthy, but I was, you know, hurt that I couldn't take my baby home. And... It's crazy, y'all. The girl I was with, when she came in to visit me, uh, I mean, pick me up, um, you know, I started crying. And she had the nerve, not the nerve, I mean, I don't know. I think she should have known, but she didn't, whatever. Her bad. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't be here. She thought that I was crying because she wasn't with me. And the nurse kindly told her, um, cause I wasn't responding when she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, whatever, I was just crying. And the nurse was like, ma'am, I don't think she's crying because of you. She's crying because she has to leave her baby today. And she was like, oh yeah, hello. First of all, I don't even like you. Hello? Right. Excuse me. But um, yeah, anyway, y'all. If I ended up coming home after almost one month, it was like a couple days to a month. He was healthy. They had already given me a shot to um, expand, his, not expand his lungs, but to mature his lungs early because they knew he was coming early for whatever, whatever reason. Um, I can't really remember the whole entire story, you know, um, but I know they knew he was gonna come early, so they gave me some kind of shot. He came home, he started sleeping through the night. Only thing I didn't like was they gave him a pacifier. I took that pacifier from him. As soon as I got him home, 
All right, y'all, so basically Elijah came home, he was sleeping good, and he was healthy. So, I'm done with this video, I'm full, and I really need some water, so I'm about to go. Um, if you wanna know more about us, the link is in the description below, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Hit that notification bell, so you can be notified of our daily lives, upstreams, and premieres. And until next time, only good vibes. Our daily upstreams, live streams, and premieres. What she said. Until next time, only good vibes. Peace.